My name is Cinda, and you are in our Farmer's Market classroom today. And today, we're going to talk about food and where it comes from. Food comes from the farm. But if I were to ask you where you thought food comes from, I bet some of you might say Safeway, or you might say Bashes, or Food City, or Fries. But all those answers are right. That's where you get your food from. But food comes from the farm. Here's our sign right here. Food comes from the farm. So all the food that you eat comes from the farm. So if you take a moment and start thinking about some of your favorite things to eat. Hmm, I wonder what you might say your favorite thing to eat is. Maybe you'd say oranges, or maybe strawberries. I bet some of you like hot dogs. I bet some of you like ice cream and cookies. All of those things. I wonder if any of you like to eat pizza. When we ask kids what's their favorite thing to eat, it's, they usually say pizza. That's one of their favorite things to eat. So today we're going to talk about where your food comes from and we're going to talk about pizza. So if you were going to get pizza, where would you get your pizza from? You might go to Domino's, maybe you'd go to Pizza Hut or Raro's, maybe you would go to the grocery store and you could buy pizza in a box like this and fix it at home. But remember what we said, all food comes from the farm. So does that mean your pizza comes from the farm too? Let's do a little experiment and find out if food, if all food comes from the farm, if that means even your pizza comes from the farm. So we're going to make a pretend pizza today. The first thing we have to have to have make our pizza is a pizza pan. So what's the next thing that you would put on your pizza pan? I think the next thing you're going to need is the dough or the crust of the pizza. So let's put that on our pizza pan. Have any of you ever made pizza dough before? If you did, I bet one of the things that you had to use was this. This is flour. This is called flour. And we can make pizza dough using flour. That, that's not what it looks like when the farmer grows it. It looks like this. Wheat. This is called wheat. And inside right here, we'll find the seeds. That's what the seeds look like. And what the farmer does is they take it to a factory that grinds or breaks down the wheat until it becomes flour. And then they put it in bags and send it to places like Bashes or Food City or Fries where you can buy it. And you can make all kinds of things with flour. Think of some things that you can make with flour. You can make bread using flour. You can make spaghetti comes from flour. If you've got a sweet tooth like I do, maybe a donut comes from flour. So all of those things come from flour, even our pizza crust. So we need one farmer, a wheat farmer, to grow the wheat to make the flour and make the pizza crust. All right, this is pretty boring. We've got to put something else on our pizza. Let's put some tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. So when I say tomato sauce, that gives you a big hint what, where we get our sauce from. It comes from a tomato. This is what it looks like when the farmer grows it. So there's the tomato that the farmer grows. Sometimes you can go to the store and buy tomatoes in cans like this, or you can just get your pizza sauce all ready to go. But it all started at a farm that grew tomatoes. So now we've gone to two different farmers. We went to the farmer who grew wheat and the farmer who grow, grows tomatoes. Let's put some cheese. Everybody likes a little cheese on their pizza, right? Now you would just go to the store maybe and just buy the cheese, but where does cheese come from? What do you have to have to make the cheese? You have to have milk. And where does the milk come from? The milk comes from a dairy cow. And this is called a dairy cow. She gives us milk. And from the milk, we can make cheese. And even different kinds of cheeses, like the cheese like this that you put on your pizza, or maybe if you like to eat yogurt, or if you like ice cream, all of those things start with the dairy cow. All right, let's put some more things on our pizza. How about some pepperoni? Pepperoni on our pizza. Now, pepperoni actually comes from two different farms farm that has beef cow, put right there, and a farm that has pigs. 
So pepperoni comes from two different farms, pig and beef cow. Oh no, we want the pepperoni. Okay, let's see what else we can put on our pizza. Ooh, does anyone like mushrooms on their pizza? That's my favorite thing to have on a pizza, mushrooms. Mushrooms grow and they look like this. There's one type of mushroom. There's another type of mushroom. Or you can go to the store and get cans that have mushrooms in them. How about some onions on our pizza? We'll put some onions on our pizza today. Onions are cool. They come in different sizes and colors. Look at this. This is a red or a purple onion. And here's another onion. This has a brown skin around it. You take the skin off and underneath might be a yellow or kind of a whitish color onion. Onions can also be long and skinny like this onion. So onions come in different sizes and colors. You know what else comes in different colors? Peppers. And this is a special pepper. If you looked at this pepper and you used your imagination, and pretend like you hear something ringing. It's a bell and this is called a bell pepper. Bell peppers are sweet. They come in different colors. There's green bell peppers, red bell peppers, and even yellow bell peppers. They have lots of vitamins in them. Peppers are really good for us. Let's put some green peppers on our pizza. Some bell peppers. Oh, some peppers are even spicy like this. Do you like these on your pizza? Or maybe a chili like this on your pizza? Those are very spicy kind of peppers. So let's put some of those on our pizza. And remember, it takes farmers to grow all of these things that are going on our pizza right now. What else could we put on our pizza? We had something spicy. Let's go with something sweet. Who knows what this is? Pineapple. Have you ever had pineapple on your pizza? It's really good. You should try it. You can get pineapple at the store in cans. When you open it up, sometimes they cut them in these really cool rings. So there's our pineapple. So let's put some pineapple on our pizza. Boy, we have a lot of things on our pizza. Who's ever seen a tree that looks like this? You know what grows on this tree? Olives. This is what the olives look like. Those look a little bit like grapes, but they're not. Those are olives, those are black olives. Olives come in different colors too. So let's put some olives on our pizza. One last thing, I bet you never thought about this. Even fish can come from farms. Some people like to put this type of fish on their pizza. This is called an anchovy, really salty. Some people like them on their pizza. Let's put some anchovies, little fish on our pizza. Look at our pizza now. We've got all kinds of things on our pizza. Remember in the beginning when we started counting, we said one farmer for the wheat, second farmer for the tomatoes, and then we needed the dairy farmer. We stopped counting, didn't we? Let's see if you can guess how many farmers it took to grow all of the things on this pizza. And let's see, how many of you think how many of you think 11? Hmm, anybody think 12? Let's do this, let's count. Then we'll take everything off our pizza. And as I'm taking off the pizza, your job is to count how many farmers it took to grow everything on this pizza. So let's take those anchovies, those little fish off the pizza. So that is one farmer. So I hope everyone's out there helping me count one farmer. Now we're gonna take the pineapple off. That is two farmers. And let's take off those jalapenos. Remember those spicy peppers. That is three farmers. And next, let's take off the bell pepper. Bell pepper is now four farmers. And let's take off the onions. The onion is number five. Oh, I forgot to take the olives off. Let's take the olives off. That is six farmers, six farmers. And we're gonna take the mushrooms off. 
Are we up to seven? Seven farmers. Let's take off the pepperoni, remembering that it comes from two different farms. So that's eight and nine. Eight and nine. So let's take those pepperonis off. And then we'll take the cheese off the dairy farmer. That's number 10. And let's take off the tomato sauce. That's number 11. And finally, we'll take off the crust, the farmer who grows the wheat. And that is 12 farmers. So 12 farmers it took to grow all of the food on that pizza. 12 farmers. Now, I have a little homework assignment for you. What I want you to do is I want you to think about when you eat lunch today or maybe when you eat dinner, how many farmers it took to grow all the food on your plate. So let's do a really quick little experiment. Let's pretend like for lunch you brought a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. How many farmers do you think that would take to grow a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And they don't have peanut butter and jelly sandwich trees. So how many farmers do you think? Let's start with the bread. Remember that's the wheat farmer. There's our wheat. And then we need some peanut butter. So we need a farmer who grows peanuts. And let's put some jelly. That's a farmer who grows strawberries. We're having strawberry jelly today. So how many farmers was that? Three farmers. And then if you get thirsty, you need to have some milk. That comes from that dairy farmer. So see, it's really easy to do. So try that tonight. Try counting how many farmers it took to grow all the food on your plate. And I hope today that you remember something. Food comes from the farm. Food comes from the farm. So thank you for listening today. And hopefully you enjoyed learning today. And we hope to see you back here at the Mac Farm really soon. Hi. I'm uh, Vic Jimenez with the Mac Farm Adventure Program, and we just want to let you know that we have great educational programs here at the Mac Farm, which is a 2,000 acre farm, and kids every year come to our farm, uh, or we can go to your school. And we want to let you know that uh, we do different types of presentations on plant science, on water science, on nutrition, and how food comes from the farm, and all our programs are in line with the Arizona School Guidelines. Just so you'll know that there's no charge for our programs and so if you contact us we'd love to go to your school and do a presentation if you don't come here right here you'll see mac farm adventures that's the name of our program and for free virtual presentations because we do virtual presentations as well as in class presentations and my name is victor jimenez my telephone number is 480-620-8633 and here's my email, vhimenez at email.arizona.edu. So it's all happening at the farm, so we all of you to come on out, and or we can go to your school, and where your kids can learn and have fun learning. Thank you.